Another area where legalism is present today in the church is in regards to tithing. Under the old law of Moses, people were instructed to give a strict 10% of their income. But money is a neutral thing and under the law of Christ, there are no rules on neutral issues. We're simply told to love God and others with our spirit-filled hearts. So Paul writes, I want you to excel also in this gracious ministry of giving. I am not saying you must do it, even though the other churches are eager to do it. This is one way to prove your love is real. So you don't have to give, you're under no compulsion, but if you truly love others, then surely you'll want to give. Giving is a natural consequence of love. Love always works itself out into action. He then says, You must each make up your own mind as to how much you should give. Don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully. Remember, the heart attitude in giving is as important as the act itself, and there's no set amounts on how much you have to give, no rules, no laws, no percentages, no minimum requirements. Just give whatever you think you can out of love and do it with a smile on your face. When a parent gives a child a present, do they do it grudgingly? Of course not. Why not? Because it gives them great joy to be able to bless their children with a gift because they love them. We should have that same attitude towards each other. Be happy to share what you have. Jesus said, It is more blessed to give than to receive. He also says, Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount you give will determine the amount you get back. Love generates love. The more you give love away, the more you will get in return. That's why a society living by the law of Christ becomes such a great place to be. Love is generating love in others and so it multiplies. If you haven't done the flower giving experiment with your wife or girlfriend yet, do it now and watch this principle in action. Because you're more free with your love, they'll be more free with theirs. I hope I'm managing to communicate that the law of Christ is never an excuse to give less. It's an excuse to give more. It's an excuse to give freely and extravagantly and spontaneously. Indeed, love freely gives twice as much as duty can demand.